Hey. Hello, aliens, and welcome to a new quest we're doing, Gina level 5. And it starts off with a male. It's really deep inside here. Kira, hey, so I really, really appreciate all the work you did trying to help me find a new thesis. But I just, well, my heart's not really in any of them. The more I think about it, the more it seems really unfair of the Academy to deny the original one. Anyways, could you stop by the ruins for a chat? I don't want to give this up yet. And now we're gonna go by the ruins, I hope. Oh, and we have Subira as well in here. Interesting. Okay, let's chat with Gina first and see what she has to s Oh, we're talking with both. I understand your concerns, Gina, and I am truly sorry for this, but the orders are clear. Aww. I know, Sir Watcher. Ma'am, <laughs> really, you're just doing your job. And who am I to get in the way of someone so important? It's just maybe if I knew why, I'd be able to figure out a thesis they could accept. Regardless of the reason why, these ruins uh, will be closed to public access. Understanding won't change that. Say what? No, really, say what? Wait for them to notice you. It's just... Oh, oh Kira, you made it. Well, you didn't make it, actually. Subira made it first. Should have started from Subira's point of view. I'm curious what she had to say. But then you made it right after, so you probably heard the bad news about the order closing the ruins. I take no pleasure in delivering this news, but my hands are tied. Are they closing for humans too? Mm, yeah, for me it's just my life's work and entire academic career, but for Kira it's personal. I mean, I don't uh, mean to speak to you, Kira, but you've been putting so much work into this. Aww. I don't mean to yell at you either, Sir Watcher, sorry, <laughs> poor Gina. It's quite alright, I can uh, tell how passion passionate you both are about this subject. I am making an exception by telling you this, so I hope you will understand the need for secrecy. There is a standing order at the Bahari Institute to deny all research related to the historical disappearance of the humans. This comes directly from the order. Now that this ruin has been confirmed to contain information relating to that time period, it is closed to the public. Wait, so they're claiming just the existence of the knowledge is dangerous? That is silly, since when has having more information ever hurt anyone? It isn't like I'm going to end the world or anything. You may not have any intention of doing that, but we cannot say the same thing about anyone who might encounter your research. What if I agreed to turn any research into the order and not publish it publicly? You would still not be authorized to study this subject. Simply put, only the order is allowed to look into this. You haven't answered Kira's question yet, though. Do these rules apply to humans too? That is a complicated question. When the rules were written, humans were simply an ex extinct species. Though I am quite grateful that is no longer the case. Uh, what about the cultural perseveration law? Everyone should know their rights. Besides, as an archaeologist, I run into it a lot. Basically, it's a law designed to enable Galdur and Grimalkin to engage in their cultural practices and history without interference from the order. 
Only registered cultural advisors are protected under these laws. Unless I am mistaken, Kira, while no doubt talented, does not have the correct certification. But if Kira was registered, Majiri archaeologists are authorized to work on relevant digs as long as cultural advisor is present, right? That is correct, yes. But the institute is still unlikely to accept your thesis without order involvement. Well, you're a member of the order, Sir Watcher. I, even if I were to approve of your research, the point uh, is moot unless Kira earns the appropriate creden credentials. What do I need to do? A member of the Bahari Institute will need to sign off on your field skills. Luckily, I still count as one. Well, isn't that great? Even if my thesis hasn't been accepted yet. There are three areas you need to be certified in. Mapping record keeping and field work mm. honestly they should all be a piece of cake for you you've been half doing the job already if kira would become an advisor and you agree to certain order oversight during your dig mm. i do not see a reason to deny the request i am certain you will meet every expectation Kira. Unfortunately I do not have much choice but to ask you both to leave these ruins until Kira becomes certified. Uh, let's head to your place so I can go over the thesis. Strange. Usually I look forward to Subira is kicking us. Me. Was I too harsh? Uh. I am sorry you have been caught up in all this but no. until it it is all settled. I have to ask you to leave as well. There's so much I must consider about the flow. Oh, my heart's beating faster than a new discovery. Counting the stars until you return. Okay, I wonder if there's anything new or if any other door would open. Uh, but I guess I'll have to continue this and find out. Okay, so now that I have reached my plot, she's already waiting You're here. You're the best research partner. Sorry I rushed us here, but I just feel more comfortable at your place. There's something about uh, the fresh mountain air and your decor that puts me at ease. Especially since if we went back to my tent, Hecla would find out and then she'd try to fight Subira. <laughs> Anyways, that went well, right? Oh my dragon, I really fainted from... Uh, fright after I accidentally raised my voice to Subira. <laughs> you don't think Subira's upset at me, right? Was I being rude? She would have told you if you were. Really, I suppose you know Subira better than I do, honestly. I've only talked to her like once before this. Anyways, if you're gonna get certified as a cultural advisor, we'd better get to work. Like I mentioned before, you need to prove you know your way around a site. First, we'll test your mapping ability. Hmm, I know, why don't you map the Temple of the Waves? Oh, back in the waves. It's best to just start with the structures and add an artificial, artificial ladder. So focus on the rooms and their layout first. You probably need to work around a bit to get good angles of all the spots. Make sure you capture accurate measurements of the area. One time I swapped the meters with the centimeters. <laughs> that was an awkward conversation. I'll keep talking you up to Hecla. Map the temple of the wake. So how am I supposed to do that? 
that in order to get your certification you'll need to prove your skills uh, well let's go to the temple and find out I guess Okay, so the temple entrance, though you should probably already know by now since you've been here, is through the Phoenix Falls bridge over here, and then through this door. So now we need to map the area, and we do actually have a map of the temple. Map area. I guess this is all we need to do just go where those flags are indicating. Oh, I cannot see anything on the map. We have one over here. Uh, it says the same thing. We probably have one over here. Yes. This place has been a oh, wait, no, that's the door. It says the same thing. There's a scroll over here, but I cannot take it. And then at the top somewhere. Wait, where is that? Oh, I think it's upstairs and we can go only by... The gates are... Okay, done. So, Gina is already here. Are you already done? I was just stopping by to see how things are going, but you really got it all handled. Next, we'll want to test your record keeping. Whenever an archaeologist finds an artifact at a site, they need to be really careful to record exactly where and how they found it. Context is the most important thing to know about any relic. Otherwise, you can make some pretty wild assumptions about what uh, artifacts were for. Anyways, I haven't cataloged or picked up all of the relics in the site yet. I've marked a spot with some relics on your map to observe. Why don't you go and check them out and come back to tell me what you found. Make sure you record correctly everything you find in the marked area, I'm going to ask you some questions about the context. We'll see each other again soon. Uh, well, let's hope I'm not gonna fail this. Wait, where am I supposed to go? After class, question one. What state of matter does hydroflow take in nature? <laughs> Bet. Question two. What are the five properties of natural hydroflow? Blue sometimes. It's like freaky water. Wet 
tastes like lemon lime lemon lime bad for you prob probably stop trying to drink the hydroflow I've asked you this like five times <laughs> question three what are the four known flow variants is this like green spicy zesty and rock flow one of the answer is literally in the title of this test who was who first discovered and named hydroflow walter m hydroflow who <laughs> this sounds like a test for like a school or something when hydroflow meets pyroflow what reaction occurs oh man check out that crazy flow explosion i was not asking your reaction that's a little bit weird okay so nothing up here Wait, there are three sparkling circles. After searching in the rubble, you find what appears to be writing implements. You can see scratches into the stone, a phrase in ancient human that translates to School of Galdur Galdurix, Drolls. School of Hydroflow Rules. And another one, I guess. Some kind of this, perhaps further investigation is in order. So, this was uh, some sort of school in here. found anything to report i found a desk well how can you be sure did you find anything to support your desk theory failed pop quiz um i found i think i found everything let me think about what you've told me so far Uh, that was not the right answer, I guess. I found some graffiti. <laughs> the school of Galdoric drools. Well, that's just rude. But it's nice to know that even ancient human students defaced public property, just like some of my classmates did. I found a failed pop quiz. Oh, I mean, I've never failed a test myself, but I can imagine how that student felt. And tests are usually done on this, unless you want to be really uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, that's so interesting. Though, unless they still have ink, we can be sure that's uh, what they are. Still, it's some good evidence for your desk theory. I think I found everything. Let me think about what you've told me so wait so it's definitely a desk right i mean we can't ever really know that but you found a lot of evidence that supports that theory which means you passed this test and we're only one step away from being official archaeology partners i'm so excited to have someone who finds this stuff as interesting as i do I mean, sometimes it feels like Hecla is just sort of humoring me when I ramble. But you, I feel like we're on the same page, you know? Okay, just one more to go. This test is all about fuel work. 
discovering ruins, unlocking ancient doors, solving riddles. That's what I did up until now this entire game. <laughs> kind of thing you're already done, multiple times even. Exactly what I was saying. We're only in this place because you unlocked it. In fact, I'd be pretty comfortable just signing you off on that one already, which means I'd better go write my official letter of recommendation that you be made a cultural advisor. Keep an eye on your mail for their response and let me know what they say. Okay, so now we have to wait for the mail. Okay, so the letter from actually from the institute, not from Gina, <laughs> arrived. Dear Kira, it is with great pleasure that the Bahari Institute accepts you into the ranks of our cultural advisors. As the first official human advisor, you will no doubt be the great demand on digs across the country. On a more personal note, I would like to thank you for supporting Gina in her work. Being her academic advisor was a favor I owed her father, and I have always expected great things from her. I hope that next time I write to her, it will be for an official thesis approval. I imagine that it is why you pursued this in the first place. I wish you both very luck. You radiate the shortest wavelengths I've ever seen. I heard back from the Institute. Really? And what did they say? I got it. <laughs> Yay! I knew you would. You passed all the te tests and you've done so much good work already. But I'd better go let Subira know. She'll have to open the library back up for now. I mean, I guess she won't have to, but she said she would. And she seems a woman of her word. Before I go, I just wanted to thank you for everything you've done. I know this is not a big or cool or fancy, but... Here, it's my lucky quill. I wrote your recommendation with it and my thesis. Whatever happens with the institute and all the red tape in the future, I think you've earned it. Yeah, I've been really wanting this quill. I love. So until next time, if you enjoy my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye. Yeah.